Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. So today's video is another Weight Loss Wednesday meal planning video and it's going to be a lot different than what I've done the past two times so let's get started. So the first week went great, um, the sec last week not so much. Um, I don't know if it was stress at school because we've got had some things going on. Um, we had some really weird weather shifts up and down and up and down. But I spent the whole last week with um, an off and on migraine. So um, we did not cook all of um, last week. So we still have a lot of our grocery frozen items that we are going to be using up. Um, last Friday on the 22nd, we had a little bit of a scare. Um, Sam wasn't feeling well, um, and had all the symptoms of that thing that must not be named. Couldn't even go into the clinic. They actually came out and talked to him in the truck. He had to come home and do a teleconference, um, a doctor's appointment, and then go get his get mum you know the mummification process started as they tested for that which must not be named thankfully he did not have it nor did he have the flu so what we came up with is that because i had not been feeling great either is that we may have gotten a touch of food poisoning from some ground beef we had bought which is not good i'm not going to say where we bought it but we think we got um ground food poisoning from the ground beef that we bought so that really killed the weekend. And then going into this migraine all of last week, um, it just did not go well. So here's what the plan is. Um, breakfasts are going to be relatively simple. Um, I have found that if I'm not getting up right um, and staying awake at 4.30 in the morning, um, if I can at least lay back down until 5.30, um, I feel a little bit better, which, I mean, that's an extra hour of laying down. So I've got some breakfast bars and some muffins that I can grab as I go out the door. Lunches for Sam, because this week is supposed to be really cold and really wet. Um, Sam has a whole bunch of Progresso soups that he is going to be able to warm up in the microwave. And for me... I am going to, I have the little individual serving cups of Velveeta shells and cheese, plus I have um, stuff to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because when we were doing our grocery shopping, I'm like, peanut butter and jelly sounds really good. I don't know about anyone else, but when like I have a headache or I'm not feeling 100%, um, I go to comfort food and comfort food for me is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So that's breakfast and lunch. And you're probably going, okay, Lena, what is for dinner? Subway. Subway is what's for dinner this week. Um, because this week is going to be a little crazy uh, with some things going on. We decided it would be easier than me trying to get something in the crock pot or Sam trying to put something in the oven. Um, this week <laughs> is going to be Subway. So we picked up a Subway gift card and loaded it into the Subway app. Um, to be able to just be able to order and pick up and I want to say that if you do not have apps downloaded for your favorite restaurant favorite um, sit downs yeah, you are yeah exactly what Sam said you are losing money because for every I want to say it's like 200 to tokens that you get um, on the subway app you get a two dollar reward um, you get like sometimes they're running like buy one get two or buy two get one only on the app um sometimes you'll get like 15 off one foot long um the other day i had a coupon for 7.99 for any combo and i went with them like a combo otherwise it would have been like 17 dollars because it was the steak cheese and bacon and let me tell you that was a really good sandwich but i would not be paying full price for it so i'll be watching for that deal to come back around um, sometimes they'll have free cookies loaded into the Subway app, so definitely make sure to download your favorite apps. Um, I think Son last week when we were getting Sonic, we got I got because of the Super Bowl coming up, 
and if you don't know, they do what's called the Puppy Bowl, and it's like to help promote like adopting animals from shelters. Um, they it was like a free drink or slush. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Um, large one, yeah. yeah, it was a large. And so I got it. I had my hamburger and my free slush, and I'm like, thank you, Sonic. So definitely really want to say, like, you know, even even if you're working on losing weight, which is like I am, eating out is not Basically. taboo. It's not a sin. It's not even considered cheating. I know some people go, oh, if I eat out, it's a cheat day. You can yeah, still... <laughs> Right. It depends on what you're eating now. If you're going to Subway, I don't really consider that a cheat day. Um, I will have them tear out a little bit of the extra bread in, on the inside to help save calories. Learn that from The Biggest Loser, like earlier seasons. Um, you know, so it, it's been great. Um, and sometimes, like, your veggies, like, if you're like me and you stuff your sandwich with veggies, it, like, gives them more space to go. Um... But, like, if you're going to Outback and you're having a blooming onion, then, yeah, maybe I consider that a cheat day. Um, but, like, if I'm going to go eat, like, some chicken fajitas, um, or if I'm having Subway. Grilled chicken zero. Right. On Weight Watchers, grilled chicken is zero. So, I mean, there's so many ways to still eat healthy and still eat out. So, it should not be a taboo thing. So, you're probably wondering, okay, Lena, why are you only planning for one week? Well... The, the way this the dates work, January 29th um, is when Sam was paid. On the 5th is when I get my monthly check from the school. February 12th, right before Valentine's Day, is when Sam gets paid again. So this time we decided that he would cover a week of groceries and I would cover a week of groceries. And then uh, we fall back, we get back to um, the regularly scheduled programming. The regularly, Sam, here's Sam, our regularly scheduled programming. Um, it's just one of the ways that we can, you know, make, we can do other things, you know, we can enjoy some other options when we're not having to spend a lot of money on groceries. In the background, if you're wondering, Sam is working on his lights for his Christmas project. So that's it for this week's um, meal planning. I know it's, like I said, it is very different than what I have been doing the past few weeks. But I will say, um, and I know Sam understands this. And if you have a job where you're up really early, and you're going to bed really, like, you're going to bed earlier, or you're, it's kind of stressful, not having to worry about coming home, or even having to worry about making sure something's in the crock pot, um, I'm really looking forward to that. All I have to do is either put in the order on my way home, and swing through Subway and pick it up, or say, hey, hun, uh, or tell Sam, hey, I'm, I'm going to go ahead, because, Especially on Mondays right now, and then I don't know when your math class is. Next uh, Monday. Is it on Mondays too? Or I don't know. See, that's I won't know that until next week. Right. Sam's next class is starting, and so he may have a class at 4.30. So if I can put in a subway order that he can pick up on his way home from work, that he can eat before he goes to class, I can pull mine out of the refrigerator when I get home because I typically don't put like sauce on mine. I get the light mayo packets that they have. Um, that way I can put as much or as little as I want and typically they'll throw in extras and I keep them in like a Ziploc bag in my fridge. Um, I will say I've got, you know, Sonic Salsa de Sonic, really good to have on hand. So like they just, our Sonic just throws a hand, like literally a handful of everything in our bags. Um, so I've got this like pile that I need to deal with on my, on my filming desk. But anyway, rambling. So that is it for today's meal planning video. I will see you next week with another one with how weird this few weeks are going to be. If you have any suggestions else for us, because you know, we have the crock pot. It's great to use, but either I'm having to put it in super early in the morning or I'm having to put it in the night. Um, before and it's almost overdone the next day by dinner, right? That's how the la the roast went. Um, it was almost overdone, and so not quite sure. I know one of the other options if we wanted to just do pot roast is Sam can if we if we put it together the night before. If we leave our oven on 
what, 200? Yeah. And on 200 and cover it in foil, Sam can pop it in on his lunch and it's ready by the time he gets home from work. Or about 4 o'clock. So, that's always an option, but it's not something that I want him to have to deal with. It's kind of my responsibility, so... We will figure it out. It's only February. There's six weeks until spring break. Six weeks until spring break. All right, we will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.